2023 came up with some interesting affordable wristwatches and it's time to revisit them and look at some of the most exciting budget watches of the year. Together they made over 1.4 million views on the channel, so they must be good. Looking at the brands presented, with only one exception, we can affirm that all these watches are coming from Asian provenance. In fact, the Tissot PRX are made as well in China, but assembled in Switzerland to meet the Swiss-made label, hence the price. Another thing must be besides the quality for the price asked or the designs, the fresh state of some of these watches with the addition of the colored dials. So very exciting how these Japanese brands are getting in line with the latest trends in terms of dial designs and colors. Enough about intros, let's look at the first model, the Citizen Tsuyosa. This is one of the most appealing and promising budget watches released at the end of last year with an impact this year. After the video review, I received positives and negatives feedbacks as well. Either because of the addition of the Cyclops or the President bracelet which is not matching the faceted design of the case or the movement is too poor for people's expectations. But overall, the people were impressed by the build quality and the colors offered. I think the keyword of this watch is... fresh. Not to mention that this watch was released in over 10 dial colors and the price for the offering is excellent, hands down. The brand really made a well compromise between the finishing, the design and the automatic movement for an extremely decent price of around $300. Mm -hmm. It feels that the model came up exactly at the right time when the watch trend transitions from the Rolex Oyster designs to the integrated bracelet concept hype and this model surprisingly managed to cover both trends, including here the hype of the colored dials because the dial design is inspired from the Rolex Oyster quartz and the case from the Genta's designs. And then switching from the rich dial of the Citizen Tsuyosa to the budget Tiffany fluted design signed by Casio. This was basically a revived model of the brand, simply colored in a fresh turquoise dial. The platform is promising as well, it is very appealing, it is well sized, it's elegant and fun, especially for the summer season. I bought this watch from the enthusiasm of the colored dial, without expectations from the video release, however the result was surprising. Where can I buy? Where can I find? Why is this model 3 times the price you've mentioned? It is sold everywhere, where can I find it? These were kind of the main topics in regard to this Casio Tiffany dial. And the reality is, as I spotted the potential of this watch randomly online, the unauthorized dealers or sellers seen as well a potential in this watch. And as a result, sadly the model was available for 3 or 4 times the normal price. In reality this is a $50 watch and it should stay at this range. In my view it's not worth spending 2 or 3 times the retail price. I mean what am I talking about? The Moon's watch was sold for over 10 times at its release. Hmm. The next piece is actually composed from two versions, both two beautiful quartz PRXs. The mint version aka the Tiffany dial or the freshly launched the full loomed dial. Both excellent models, well finished ready for the summer. As I was explaining in the previous video, I find both these models more special than the standard quartz versions. The mint has that beautiful brushed linear pattern which changes its appearance when exposed to the light. And the new experience proposed by Tissot with the courageous and posh or loom style with a super cool rubber strap. As feedbacks, both these models were received very well by the people, I can't remember negative feedbacks on the videos, maybe the only downside being the large appeal of the 40mm tonneau case on the wrist. And I would blame here the larger distances from the dial ring to the corners of the lugs. However, with the addition of the rubber strap, the cases look more trimmed, lesser metal, and the PRXs will look better on the wrist, becoming less formal and more fun. Concluding as well that $350 for the Swiss made quality control sounds about right. The next model is the GMB001 series, the future Oak model signed by G-Shock. Although the design is maybe too courageous for some or too unusual not to mention the all black appearance, it feels that people really like black G-Shocks. I am looking at their novelties and it feels like all their releases are black. And despite the less inclusive contrasted cases, G-Shock seems to have success with these models. However, it's not just about the design and the color contrast, it's about the materials as well. 
I think G-Shock improves from one generation to another the quality, the materiality and the finishing offered. This being priced around $130, which is true it's in the same price range of the solar models. Slowly but safe, the brand made me a G-Shock enthusiast again and more reviews from the brand will be seen on the channel. I made a pre-order for a cool G-Shock, so stay tuned. Speaking about enthusiasm for the G-Shock line, here's another welcomed model from the brand. The practical and premium Casio with resin and lugs and a nylon strap with Zulu hardware. As I mentioned in the dedicated video, I personally love this collection because of the military appeal of each model, because they are made with either khaki, tan or black tones, just like the modern military watches. In fact, yes, this is part of the utilitarian series and double yes, the reflective case cannot serve as a military watch because the polished brush accents can reflect in the sun, being noticeable for more than 7 miles. But still, I do salute the hierarchy in tones proposed by the GM series with clear contrasts between the markers and the hands against the foreground, making everything more natural and more legible. And as well, the addition of the nylon strap with the resin lugs is a severe contradiction with the faceted outer case and becomes more interesting because it isolates the octagonal volume of the case and looks better on the wrist. This model costs around $200 and the review can be found on the channel as well. The North Adventure is basically the most expensive piece from this selection, but not very far from the PRX prices. This Titanium North is a superior expedition model signed by Timex. The brand offering a great titanium case, an automatic movement with 200 meters war resistance and a shockproof case. Nice. So they made on paper the best expedition ever made. However, with the addition of the Miota 8215 automatic movement and the crown guard, the size of the case increased, the width increased, the height increased and the purpose of the watch changed as well. So it's important to understand that this is not a slim and discreet field watch, but one with presence, which may fall under a different category than the field watches, maybe towards pilot watches. But other than that, I think the North Expedition is a well-built watch, super robust and extremely lightweight. This reflects in the quality of the watch, but in the price as well. And last but not least, the Timex Q Chronograph, which is an absolute winner especially when I compared it recently with the GMT3 time zones, which came up with a lot of issues from the bent crown to the faults and the errors of the dial from the assembly, I assume. This made me to appreciate more this Timex Q chronograph, but also to be more skeptical when I will order a budget Timex from now on. The chronograph combines very well the design language of the 70s Q concept with the well-sized faceted case. As you know, when the Q line was launched, it was uber hyped. However, understanding the design of the Q, they came up with an interesting addition with a Daytona vibe, having a lot of similarities from the Rolex logo replaced at 12 o'clock with the Q1 to the hands and the buried subdials. All in all, I think this is an interesting piece, super welcomed by the people, having a strong vintage appeal, a well-sized case and a cool price of only $240. Guys, that is it. My neighbor is about to drill the wall behind me. He found out that the walls at this hour are softer. So, thank you very much for watching and until next time, be brave, but stay safe.